I want to talk to you about core level unworthiness. Also known as not good enough and insecurity and many other things. And it's a theme that I keep going back to in my videos and my private sessions with clients because it is at the core of so many of our issues. So one way to look at it is look at the life that you have manifested and look at the life that you've manifested as a reflection of your level of self-worth, of worthiness. If you look at your outer life and you resist the urge to blame factors that would make you the victim. Look at your outer life as if you don't have what you want and if your desire is an authentic desire, then you don't really think you deserve it. And that's where the inauthentic desire comes from. So an authentic desire is based on love, really. Like, I love myself and I love that thing that I just saw and I desire it in whatever way. I desire that person to be my friend or my lover. I desire that car to be mine or a similar one. Authentic desire is authentic resonance with what you authentically resonate with. Is that too many withs? Um, so we all have authentic desires and we have all been shamed for having what desires we have. We have all gotten messages that either our desire is unrealistic or our desire is very normal and boring, but it's not possible to have. It's like, well, yeah, of course everybody wants that, but who are you to think you could have it? And in a world of healed humans, um, unwounded humans in that imaginary world, there would be no, no problem with authentic desire. There would be no shaming around it. It would be normal. And there would be no expectation that that desire would be met. It's not about being spoiled and whatever I desire, give it to me now, right? It might take a lot of work. You might not get everything you want, of course. But here's what I want you to feel. To bring the desires into an authentic place and to allow that core unworthiness to leave you. Try this. Notice what you desire. And just say this to yourself. I love you for desiring that. 
That's it. I love you for desiring that. And I can see why you desire it. So make that desire something based in love. Because if that desire is there to paper over your feelings of unworthiness, it's never going to work. If you get that car, that friend, that lover, that promotion, whatever you desire, and you get it in an attempt to paper over your own feelings of self-rejection and unworthiness it's never going to work and you're just going to be in this endless loop of trying to get things to make you feel better about yourself when my point is really feel better about yourself first Feel good about what you desire. Feel good about the fact that you even have an ability to desire anything. Like, we don't know if there are plants, animals out there that have no ability to desire. Maybe we're the only ones. And I think desire is a beautiful thing. It's so mixed in with with fear of failure and not being good enough, unworthiness. It's so mixed in with that that we lose sight of the perfect desire and the power of desire. So feel what you desire. Look at whether it's authentic that it comes out of love and appreciation rather than inauthentic it comes from trying to get something from the outer world to not feel unworthy not good enough and all the rest and but even if it's an inauthentic desire don't punish yourself for it love yourself for it it would be helpful to be cognizant of the fact that this is a more inauthentic desire that would be good but don't shame yourself out of the desire it's fine have it and just feel i love you for having that desire i adore you for having that desire that is something to desire i get it and just feel that that warm feeling of self-love and desiring what you desire without shame and feel the worthiness the centeredness and the groundedness return to your experience anyway that's one of my recommendations hope you like it if so please like subscribe and comment I'd love you very much for doing that <laughs> thanks a lot for watching bye